So I was thinking to myself of why the iPhone 11 is so good to me. I've had nothing but great experiences with this iPhone, and I kind of do think the iPhone 11 in total, the 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max, were probably the best iPhones Apple has ever made. Now, I don't think the iPhone 11 is better than the iPhone 14 in pretty much any way, but I think for that time, the iPhone 11 was more of a perfect iPhone for that time than the iPhone 14 is as of now. Even though the iPhone 14 Pro has the dynamic island, way better display and everything, the iPhone 11 series that came out in 2019 did some really, really important things. And I do think that iPhone in particular, the iPhone 11, still shocks me to this day. Now to give you some perspective, the iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max that came out right before these iPhones, they were pretty good. You know, of course the XR had a, you know, big price tag for a cheap budget IPS phone, but regardless, you know, it still sold decently well, and I think it aged really, really well on top of that. But when I looked at the iPhone 11, Apple went and decreased the price tag of that iPhone from one generation to the other. That was unheard of from Apple. I've never seen Apple do that ever again. That was the first time I've seen Apple do something like that, and it was absolutely insane. Seeing Apple pretty much go through and just decrease the price tag by $50 is absolutely insane, and I still look at an iPhone like that, and I'm still shocked that Apple was able to do that. That in and of itself was something that was so beautiful, and personally for me, that price tag thing alone was insane, and I'm so happy Apple actually did that, because that pretty much kind of fixed a lot of the issues I had with the iPhone 10 or the price just was way too high. The iPhone 11 brought a way better, you know, not a better, way better screen, but a better camera system, faster performance and everything like that for cheaper price tag than the previous generation. That was beautiful. Another thing, Apple actually gave us the same chipsets and the same variation of chipsets and everything like that between all the three models that Apple made with those iPhones. So the iPhone 11 was pretty much the same speed and had the same RAM as the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That was also the last time Apple has done something like this. Since then, the Pro models have more RAM, which I think is fine. You know, I think that's completely fair. If you're spending more money, you should probably have an iPhone that gives you more features in that way. But for iPhone 11 owners, that was a really nice touch that Apple kind of gave us there too. On top of that, with the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, those iPhones were also very, very solid as well. They brought a lot of power and, you know, they brought a little bit of a body change too, which was honestly very surprising. I love seeing those types of you know changes in the body. And Apple was giving that to us too there. And they were also giving us a better camera system, better display for the most part, and just bigger batteries than the previous generation too. Ultimately, when I look back at what Apple was able to do with the iPhone 11s, I kind of think to myself over and over again that these were probably some of the best iPhones Apple has ever made in my opinion. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.